Good morning, welcome to Natasha Makes. My goodness, what a weekend we've had. We've spent the last four days over at the NEC. Um, this is a recorded, um, recorded show snuck in in between being at the NEC and here, there and everywhere. So good morning to you. The reason we are recorded is not because we're not here, but it's because we are doing a Zoom call with our Natasha McCarthy design members. Um, so we are busily making things on that group Zoom call. It's never too late if you want to join that subscription. You are very, very welcome. It's $6.99 a month. You get a chat with us a month. There are patterns on there for you to um, watch the videos of. And if there are any templates, you can download those. Um, and also then we get a Zoom workshop every week, every month rather, all for $6.99 a month, which is really incredible value. Then also if, cause I've got asked about this quite a lot on the stand. If you want to up your membership, um, to two, 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 sixteen ninety nine a month. This is only, only really worth it if you spend more than a hundred pounds with us in a month. But if you do, you'd be silly not to get this particular membership because the sixteen ninety nine premium membership means that you get ten percent off your orders at Natasha Makes. Okay, so we're on Natasha Makes products there, not off sewing machines and things like that, but off you know, the Natasha Makes, um, which is most of the website. You get your 10% off there. So if you're buying fabrics or anything else like that and you're spending more than £100 a month with us, that is a nice saving to have. And if you're spending over £100 and you're quids in by the time that you have that membership, whether you come on the Zooms or not, that's entirely up to you. But that is where you're saving if you're spending more than £100 a month with us. Right. Good morning to you. This morning we are making... Oh, well, let's have a little... Okay, pop in the comments and let's see if any of you... Um, can actually guess what we're making because I've had a lot of fun with this one. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've had a lot of fun with people playing guess what it is. What are we making with this? <laughs> and by the way, don't do it in a hurry because you'll get your edge coat all over the place. Ugh, so cross with myself. Um, but I, I, this is, I'm not going to lie. This is filmed one morning quite quickly. Um, we've got two makes for you with the cork. The reason we're working with the cork again this morning um, with the heat and bond is because so many of you bought it from us at the NEC and I promised you, promised you, promised you a full demo on how to use it. So the other thing is this, which looks like a guitar, sort of related to a guitar, sort of, sort of, sort of. So have a little guess, pop in the comments what you think it is what you think it might be that we are making. I've got a little bit of prep done because I have edge coated it. I have got this morning, for those of you that are asking what we use, I've got a few of the edge coat in black and a few in the brown. Anything with gold looks really nice to edge in the brown. But I've gone with, I'm using brushed cotton on one of these today. I wonder if that's gonna give you a little hint as to what we're making. Now, in terms of fabrics, for those of you that still haven't braved the cork and just want fabrics from me this morning, I've got you covered as well. Of course I have. Pa -pa -pa -pa. I have got a beautiful, beautiful Robert Kaufman climped panel. Beautiful. Oh, she's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I've got her for you today. I'm limited on numbers. I've got less than 25 of them um, this morning. That's all I've got. But, but, but from that fabric range, you can see the bolts there underneath. In fact, I'm going to go closely, closely, uppity, uppity on this. Look, look at these. Oh. How utterly gorgeous are they? Yeah, Kaufman's take on Klimt. So basically he's taken portions of the Klimt uh, painting and he's put them into a fabric. Be still my beating heart. So if you're looking um, for something a little bit whizzy, a little bit woo, a little bit wah, mm, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. We've got these either as a bundle or individually and then you buy your panel separately as a separate thing also on the show we cut these and then i completely forgot to take them to the nec remember these bags you know the ones with the frames that we have to stuff them i've got a handful with the brown this is the complete kit by the way so either with the uh the lovely green handles or with the brown handles it's this kit 
half a meter of your Teflon coated cotton. So it's waterproof on the outside. Um, and you either get, so it's this fabric, this fabric. So basically it'll make this. If you've got a little bit of cork then just to do that bit, then that's great. This kit makes this exactly. This kit makes this, but with the green handles instead, picking out this lovely green there. I've got a handful, only a handful, but it's got the pattern. It's got, it's all you need is your interfacing, whatever you want to interface it with. And again, that comes down every time, every time to a personal, personal choice. Also on the show, because it is that season and I'm getting a little bit chilly now, um, we did the keyhole scarf a little while ago. I've got bundles of two half meters of brushed cotton. Now here's the thing. This is the brushed cotton just as is. But if you want to make it really floofy and really padded, then put a layer of H640 onto one side of your brushed cotton and it makes it really, really... This is just as it is. This is just to show you it without it. But if you want to add some H640 onto there, perfect. You will have fabric left over from your brush cotton to make today's make. So what are we making? That is the first question. Have you guessed what it is yet? Apparently I'm not allowed to say that. <clears throat> Here we go. Have you guessed what this one is? And have you guessed what the guitar is? Jeopardy, jeopardy, jeopardy. Do we know? Do we know? Um, if you know, you know. Right, so let's start with the brushed cotton. I am going to start some of you from scratch on this, which I love, absolutely love. I was in such a hurry doing my prep this morning. Honestly, don't do it. Don't do this in a rush. <laughs> Doesn't go well. It does not go well. No. Ask me how I know, because I now have to buy a new wire. <laughs> um, I now have to buy a new wire for the um, <clears throat> microphone. Because I may or may not, may or may not have absolutely cut through it. With my rotary cutter. What an absolute idiot. So this is brushed cotton. Now, I do know that some of you bought my uh, guide to brush cotton. We have had <laughs> delay after delay after delay on that. It is coming to you. I'm going to send out your orders without it because I'm so sorry that we've had such a delay on it. Um, honestly, it's been a catalogue of disasters on that front. But they are, they will be coming to you this week. We'll make that promise to you. Um, brush cotton is so beautiful. So beautiful. And we're just going to use it like we would any other cotton here. Okay. That's it. So all I'm doing right now, apart from making a little mess, is layering up. So lots of you on the stand over the weekend came and bought the heat and bond. This is your most cost effective way to do all of these cork makes that we, uh, that we do now with, uh, with our cotton lining it. One meter which is how we sell it for $9.99. One meter of your heat and bond will do a meter of cork. That is a lot of these makes, a lot of these makes. So that is your most cost effective way. Now, somebody else over the weekend was asking me, do we do these heat mats? I can't get hold of these at the moment, but what I have got are silicon mats and your Teflon sheets. I have got those for you on the website today so that you can, if you don't want to use your pressing sheet, just in case you get some of the sticky on it, then we're going to adhere directly onto the silicon mat because look, this I've used this before. If any of this comes off on it, it doesn't matter. You just scratch it off and away you go. Pop that in a tub because you can use that again. It's great. So heat and bond is a webbed glue, basically. It's um, a little bit like, it's a little bit like a spider's web, but we're gonna layer it up. So let's just do this properly. Pop this on the mat, move everything out of the way. Cork, wrong side up. Brushed cotton this time. Woohoo! 
right side up. Uh, right, yes, right side up. So we've sandwiched it in between. So the wrong sides of your fabric um, have got the have got the um, heat and bond in between. Now you can go in with a little bit of steam if you want. That's fine. Or you can just apply heat. If you're worried about applying any kind of whoops heat, I've just dropped all my sample seven on the floor, then this is where you would put your Teflon pressing sheet over the top, especially near the edges. And the nice thing about the Teflon is that when I spill my edge coat all over it, again, it scratches off. So these are just handy to have, they're not essential. They are not essential, please do not feel like you cannot do these makes if you don't have these things. Um, but what you do need is heat and bond. Okay. And then we're just going to turn that round. And because we are on a little bit of a time limit this morning, I have already cut out an edge coat, but you're basically, you will cut out. And these are nice, easy starter ones to cut out. Great to gift. Ba, 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 ba. This is the hole that you want to get your little leather punch. If you don't have one of these, a lot of households have them just for doing your um, your belts or something like that. But a little leather punch or something to do there. And again, cut around that. And then you are good to go. So when you have cut around that, and I'm now going to have to go around the other side and pick up everything I just dropped off the edge of the desk. Well done, me. It's one of those things, isn't it? Just, what do they say? Go, um, less speed, more haste. Or less haste, more speed. Now, I have done this in um, velvet before as well, but if you're a little bit worried about working with velvet, then... Don't worry, but when you see what this make actually is, you'll be like, oh yeah, no, velvet's really nice. So if you've got any little velvety offcuts. But the brush cotton works really nicely because, ladies and gents, what we are making today is a glasses holder. Okay, so how many of you got that right? How many of you got that right in the comments? Let me know. We're going to put all the hardware on first. You just need a snap. Snappity snap. Oh, I've got black ones for this. Perfect. Oh, I've got my hammer. If I had a hammer. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. We are going to hammer that into place. Hammer, 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 hammer. So make and sell, peeps. If you're wondering what I've done, by the way, the edge coating, and I haven't done a neat job of it because I did it in a rush. Um, this just really goes on the edge, but I splodged it, didn't I? Because I was in a hurry. Um, so you'll dip it in there. I'll show you with the next one. Dip it in and around we go. Um, and it just, what that does is means that it stops any fraying. You're going to have minimal fray anyway because you've adhered um, your fabric with the heat and bond. But if there's a tiny, tiny bit, if there's a lot of wear on these and there's a tiny bit of fray just at the very, very edge, it, this stops it completely. That just won't happen. Um, so it gives longevity to your make, which we like. Snaps should be on the website for you. I'm trying to keep these things now in stock. It's not always easy. However, this is such a quick and easy make. And I would batch do, so I'd cut everything out. Um, and then I would put all of those in, oh, edge coat, let it dry put all of those in and away we go. 
let's have a little look and get us across to the sewing machine because we're going to top stitch and again you can do that in a really lovely colour if you want Now the reason that I chose brushed cotton is so that is going to clean your glasses and be lovely on those lenses. Okay. And so in seconds, this is what I mean, this is a great quick make. In seconds we have got you can pop your glasses in that way, or you can pop your glasses in that way. If you put it in that way, then it's not going to catch on there. Whoop. And that comes around. And away you go. Now, I gifted one of these to a friend. I did him a velvet one. Um, and I gifted it. And honestly, it's so lovely because he uses it all the time. Absolutely loves it. Handy. They're protected. Brilliant. Done. Um, and he's got big glasses, so. Glasses case, tick, done. Right, let's have a look at this. So, this will be bonded in the exact same way. In the exact same way, and again, cut around, perfect. And we get to this stage. Now, what is it? What is it, what is it, what is it? Well. Let's put a snap in and I'll show you. Because this is going to ba -ba -ba -ba, come up to there. This will come down to there. And what you've got then is a little container which you can keep your pound for the trolley safely. Perfect. Or if you've got a guitar player in your life, then what this does make is a really, really, really lovely plectrum holder. So I am going to do one of these for lovely Josh, for all of his plectrums, for he does love a guitar. And the beauty of it is We are just using up our scraps. That's it. Once you've got the hard way, you can make all of these in all the world. Um, ba -ba -ba. But we've got these with the patterns, with the templates, um, and you are all good to go. I would add in. Oh, did that fall off my desk as well? Go so me. Got these on the website as well. I think we've got them in gold and silver. Just thread through there. You see, then you can attach it to your trolley. And just line everything up. Clippity clip. And start with your foot on it, a couple of stitches forward, a couple of stitches back. That's the key here. And I kind of wished that I'd kept my gold thread in. So again, this is not a technical make, but in a world where we don't use coins so much anymore, whoever has that pound or that token for the trolley at the supermarket. I don't. I'm really annoyed with myself. But if you also, if you have a guitar player, this is where you're going to keep those plectrums. And that is it done.
Keep your token in there, keep your pound in there, keep your plectrums in there. There you go. So two very, very, very quick, easy makes. Um, Jane's doing quilting tomorrow, back to normal sewing tomorrow. But there they are. Um, and again, these will use up your cork scraps. If you've got your heat and bond, that meter will back two meters, uh, a meter, sorry, a meter of cork, two half meters of, of fabric, which is just incredible. That's a lot of these projects because don't forget last week, we did lovely favor holders. Now at the NEC, I managed to get some nice smelly stuff to put in those. So they're gonna be teacher gifts for me. And then we had our little coin or gift. Um, triangular pouches yesterday. So we're building up quite an array of small, easy gifts. Lots of you keep saying to me that these are perfect, perfect, perfect for charity makes that you're making, PTA makes, um, anything like that. They work an absolute dream. So, you know, that's kind of important too, because if you're making, you want to get maximum out of your fabrics and maximum for whatever charity it is that you're working for. Don't forget, of course, we've got the Klimt. I've also got these with either black or brown edge coat, which just finishes off these makes an absolute treat. You can just see where it's edged there, just, just perfect. And protects it and gives it that longevity. And don't forget, of course, we've got the Klimt. That stunning, stunning fabric there. I've I've got literally a bolt of each, and then it's gone. Um, those of you, of course, also saw the brand new Navy Tech Wax, which is a six ounce technical wax from Barber. Same deal, fourteen ninety nine on the website for a meter. When it is gone, it is gone. So well done for those of you that managed to get that over the weekend. We will be getting those out to you asap. We've had a lot of cutting. And, um, and a very busy week. So thank you for bearing with us. If your parcels are just slightly behind, we are catching up. Take care. Thank you for watching. And I will see you with Jane tomorrow, possibly with a slightly different headset because I might have just cut through one of the wires whilst I was prepping. Go me. Uh, see you tomorrow. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.